Hello, in this video we're going to find the derivative of this function. We have y equals t over 1 minus t squared. So we have a fraction, in other words, we have a co quotient. And so whenever you have a quotient, you should try perhaps the quotient rule. And in this case, that's going to be the best approach. So recall if you have a quotient, f over g, and you want to take the derivative of that. The quotient rule says that you take the derivative of the top times the bottom minus the top times the derivative of the bottom, and it's all over the bottom one squared. So this is called the quotient rule. And it's a very powerful formula for finding the derivatives of quotients in calculus. So here we can apply this formula to this particular example. So y prime is equal to, so the derivative of the top function, well, the derivative of t is just one times the bottom minus the top function, which is t, times the derivative of the bottom function. So the derivative of one is zero because it's a constant. Here we're going to use the uh, power rule. So we'll bring down the two and subtract one. So we'll get minus two t to the first power. Right, subtract one from the exponent and bring this number down all over the bottom one squared. So parentheses one minus t squared and then the whole thing is squared. Let's just check our work one more time. It's the derivative of the top, which is one times the bottom minus the top, times the derivative of the bottom all over the bottom one squared. Now let's go ahead and try to clean this up. So y prime is equal to, so one times this is just that. Here we have a minus and a minus, so it's gonna become a plus. So plus two t squared, because t times t is t squared. Over, and then down here in the bottom, you generally wanna leave this like this. You don't wanna multiply it out for various reasons. Um, it's just easier to leave it in this nice form. There's really a negative one here, and so when you add these, you're just gonna get one. So y prime is equal to one plus t squared, right? Because it's one t squared. Negative one plus two is one. Over parentheses one minus t squared squared. And that's gonna be the derivative of our function. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.